بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله على محمد وآله الطيبين الطاهرين ولعنة الله على أعدائهم أجمعين من الآن إلى أبد الآبدين The nature of mankind is that he loves himself or she loves herself and they love anything that is associated to them they draw closer to everything that is theirs this is the nature of mankind and also whatever they gain whatever they buy or whatever they add to their belongings would be very close to their hearts here we learn from the following story how to be able to be fair when dealing with ourselves, with our family members, and with friends, and with those who we do not even know. Being fair. Sometimes being fair means that you have to tread upon your own emotions and desires. So be it, as long as you are fair. We hear this phrase many a times where people say, it's not fair, or life is not fair. Why? Because they feel that something of theirs has been taken away or they have been deprived of a certain thing. But once they sit down and ponder and think about that, uh, that thing or that item, they see that it wasn't theirs from the beginning. So they did not lose anything. Once an Arabian came to the Holy Prophet of Islam and asked him for admonishment, for nasiha. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, let's take lessons from these brothers and sisters. Rasulullah faced towards him and said, Amil in nas kama tuhib an yu'amiluk. So deal with people, relate to them, attract yourselves towards them the same way that you like them to attract themselves towards you. Deal with them the same way that you like them to deal with you. Your attitude towards them should be the same way that you want them to use towards you. So if you like people to be honest with you, if you like people to smile in your face and be happy with you and positive, do the same towards them. If you like people to respect you, if you do not want people to deprive you of their honesty, then do the same towards them. And then the Holy Prophet continues, وَلَا تُعَامِلِ النَّاسِ كَمَا لَا تُحِبْ أَنْ يُعَامِلُوكَ So anything that you don't like in people doing to you or acting that way towards you, you do not do that towards them. أمير المؤمنين علي بن أبي طالب عليه السلام Again, one day, one companion says, I was walking in the streets of Kufa. And I saw Amir al muminin Ali ibn Abi Talib standing in front of two sacks, one containing gold and the other containing silver. And Amir al muminin was holding people back until I stood there until I saw that both these sacks of gold and silver had been emptied. Amir al muminin divided and distributed the gold and the, and the silver equally amongst the Muslims and amongst the needy that were standing in front of him until he went back home with empty sacks. He did not even take anything with him for himself. Being fair. Who was Amir al muminin Amir al muminin Ali ibn Abi Talib was the commander, was the head of state at that time. Did he take anything for himself and deprive the needy? No. He worked on the basis of fairness. There are people out there that are in need of that wealth. There are people out there who are in need of my help and my guidance. So I should be fair. I have that knowledge. Let me go out there and teach and educate people. So being fair, brothers and sisters, is not only that you love yourself and you deprive yourself and you and other people of that thing that you own sharing it when you share it you are being fair to yourself and you are being fair to other people عامل الناس كما تحب أن يعاملوك ولا تعامل الناس كما لا تحب أن يعاملوك والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته